the plan. More records than Jay-Z and 50. Well, Jay-Z had the biggest week, I think, What so was it, far. seven something? Yeah. So I figured, you know, I delivered another classic album. Is that where you're at, album. really? Is that where you're at with the... With hey, man, I I just, you know, I wish for the best and prepare for the worst. <laughs> okay. Craig up. So tomorrow, Young Buck's album is in stores. Did we give him a one-time monsters? I didn't hear that. Thank you. <laughs> Young Buck is here. We have a lot to talk about today. We're going to play something off this album. Yo, that yeah. beat is too loud. It's going to drive me nuts. Mon say lower the beat, please, a little bit. Young Buck is here. We gonna, we need we need conversational beats today. Yeah, we need conversational beats. Because we're going to have some good conversation with you Why today. Not? Yeah. Because there's a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, it Buck. really is. It is. It is. You know. I know some things are not necessarily your things, but because they're, it's related, because it's G-Unit, we're going to have to talk about some of the yeah, stuff going on. Yeah, it's all good. I don't mind. Okay, good. I'm my own man, and the streets know it, so it's like, hey. Okay, but you I'm still good. are a G-Unit representative. Yes, I am. So, you know, at so the end of the day. We're going to get into all of that today. We're going to pace ourselves, though. We're just having a nah, conversation. But that was, yeah, I'm just saying. We're having a real conversation. We're talking about God made huh? chemicals and what God made. And yeah, God made the smoke, man made the beer. Who do you trust? And then, then she said. And then I said, Young Buck is here, by the way, if you just tune in. And then I, t and I said, well, the things you smoke, is God didn't make that because man has touched it. It's been sprayed with stuff and well, if he keep making me feel like this, spray some more on it, <laughs> my man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That. Oh, man, shout out to the Sour are you, D. Are you not a drinker? You don't drink? Hey, I oh, mean, yes, not you heavy. Both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I you... mean, I ain't just the one to just run around with a bottle of liquor on him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to get in the atmosphere like a little club. I have me a little something to drink. There are some rappers that run around with a bottle as part of their whole Yeah, it ain't thing. nothing wrong with that neither. I know a couple of them be so drunk, I don't know how they remember their verses. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> but not you. Nah. You cho you choose the man, the God, the, the stuff that God made, as you say. Yeah, straight up. Um, <laughs> so Young Buck is here. Albums and stores tomorrow. Book the world. Yeah. There's this, there's this <clears throat> wild uh, video on YouTube that I just got a little clip of. Oh, yeah. That's called F the Police. They wouldn't let me put that record on my album. So too violent? They said it was too violent. Interscope. Interscope said too violent. They blamed it on the lyric committee. So I researched to see if it was a real lyrical committee no they didn't they said the, the, it lyric, was the lyric committee <laughs> they said the lyric committee so said I went you can't in, put this I, out i went as far as trying to find out what, who is the lyric committee <laughs> Shut up the lyric America. committee is in the scopes building up yeah that's how they do <laughs> is it. there really a lyric committee no you tell me <laughs> nah there's not i'm telling you there's not that's, <laughs> that's your up. man jimmy i've been saying oh hell no i don't want to deal with that yeah at the, at the end of the day they explained it to me when i got a little little weight behind my little voice at them they holler out well, Buck is not going to sit well on the Walmart shelves. <laughs> oh, God. Said, okay, you're right. Good luck. Let's go. <laughs> Need to be on the Walmart shelves. Straight up. So, um, all right, Buck, please, let's let's talk about what's happening with Yayo because it's all over the news. Yeah, it's all, all over the paper. Honestly, man, I'm going to be real with it. Let's be real with it. I don't know. I, You know, I'm out doing my thing and, and moving and, and promoting, you know, my album come out tomorrow, and then I hear the news. So, me specifically, are the details of the situation? You don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. But, but how do you feel when you get wind that Yayo is being accused of beating up a 14-year-old kid that is, you know, I mean, do you feel a way hey, about that? You know what? I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I'm going to be honest. I don't respect nobody putting their hands on no kids. I got a child myself. So. How old is your kid? My daughter, four years old. Oh, okay. And I'll be real. Somebody put their hands on mine. It, I understand the way it goes. So mm. in this situation, honestly, you know, I don't know the truth of it, but I don't rock with nothing that's, that's, that's under that circumstances about putting your hands on no kid. Really? I'm a real street individual. And it wouldn't matter if it was, uh, you know, my crew or any other crew. You know you know, in the movies, right? Mm. Some, when, when they get to go doing some of the gangster stuff in life, right? right? You know, we pile up in the cars and we really, really go put it in. The first words to be said from some of the hardest gangsters in no the car. No women, no kids. We ain't killing no kids, no women. You know what I mean? So it's just certain little things in the streets and in the roads that. So know, when something like that by. happens within, because I know you're your own man, but right, you still right. you still um, operate under the G unit flag. Yeah, yeah. Well, so when something that hap like that happens within your, you know, your crew, does do you then? I think individually. Mm. Individually, it falls upon the individual. Now, I, I maintain and, and do what I got to do, but I can't rock with nothing that's wrong. So I'm saying I don't know if Yayo did it, but if he did it, then it's wrong, and I can't rock with it. If he didn't, then, hey, 
You know, it, it, it remains the same. I'm just like that. I'm gonna be real with you. I can't I can't sit here and act like mm. you know what I'm saying because that ain't that ain't what's up, you know. Isn't that weird? Like when you get put in a, a situation that's like G unit or you're in a, a group or a whatever, then everybody's actions kind of everybody has to kinda I don't know, I guess stand next to everybody else in their crew, like it, it, you know what? It's, I've been pretty good with it all. You know what I mean? I'm going to start off from the top of it. I've been good with it because... You managed Angie, to kind of stay away from yeah, straight up. a lot of and it. And I'm going to be real. Now, I, well, all honesty, my, the excitement for me, I've always participated in every situation and anything amongst my crew. Front line, straight up and down, whether we get to it in the streets or on the microphone. Mm. Front line with it, straight up. So the excitement for me and participating in the situations is to see if it's real. Cause I know it's real with me, straight up and down. When you know two crews get to going at it, all right? So that's the excitement. Now, I, once I start to seeing the situations affect the politics of the business, where certain people won't play records, or we can't be here because this dude, or you know, this dude got a GU not shirt on and a G unit shirt on up under, then I get to doing what in the streets we call get active and seeing if it's real. And if I see it ain't that. Then I ain't gonna constantly keep on pushing down that that way, mm. and and I you know I'm good at going at the horse's mouth. So that's really what's been going on with me, bro. If you if you look and and really follow Buck, you'll notice about the whole Las Vegas situation about me and Game. You know the whole thing with him on stage. And yeah, what happened? It was a situation that really went down. You know, it was the first time that we ever been in the same building amongst each other. So everybody was freaking out already. Yeah, yeah. You're in the building, games in the Straight building. Up. Everybody I was actually was there out. before game came, you know, and then he came with his entourage. Everybody's on edge. Everybody's on edge, you know what I'm saying? And it was right. a lot of tension getting built up with him standing in front of my, his crew, me in front of mine. Wait, this is going to be a good story, and we are so out of time. So just we're going to pick up right there in one second. We're going to handle some business. We're going to find out what's real, bro. Yeah. We're, we're we're gonna, gonna, I'm going to let y'all know exactly the way it really is. You know what I mean? You need to get on your radios right now. Turn, call your friend. Tell me Young Buck is on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> He's telling you what it is, We're man. about to get into it, but we'll be right back. Hotlines are open. Don't move. Young Buck is here, man. And buy my album tomorrow. Yeah. For sure. Oh, great. Young Buck is here in the building with me. Yeah, I am. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, Young Buck. Yeah, Yo, you know my album Are you still the... Young Buck or you just Buck now? Because I see Buck the World. Buck the World. Just yeah, Buck. Young it's still buck. Young Buck, 26. right? 26. I just turned 26, March 15. It's still a Young still Buck. Still a Young Buck. You know what I mean? All right. Straight out. Albums in stores tomorrow. True, true. You're going to be here too because I know you're showing Flex tonight and yeah. then Who Kid also. So yeah. we're, on the, we're on the Young Buck Marathon tonight leading up to the album in stores tomorrow. And isn't there an in-store? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is an in-store. You FYE. FYE where? When? On 86. On 86, see, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Terrible. They got me way out here. Like I know it's an FYE. That's the good. Way the, the way the, the state of hip-hop, it, it shouldn't be too many of them. What is it, Sha? 51st and 6th. 51st and 6th. <laughs> Sha Money six. is here. I have a few questions for you, but that's later after Young Buck, Sha. Yeah, Sha Money, make sure you sit him down. Sha Money, you manage everybody, right? I brought the unit back. <laughs> we have some questions for you. Um, So, Buck. Yeah. Wait, we left off where you were in the club oh, yeah. in Vegas. True. This was like, what, a month ago? Two months yeah, ago? Yeah, it was, like a, it was like a month ago. month ago, yeah, you're month, in the club. Yeah, we're, we're in the club. There was a lot of tension getting built up with game in front of his crew, me in front of mine. What happened? I took it amongst myself to go to the stage and uh, pretty much see what it was. I went to the stage and um, honestly, I told the DJ to play One Blood. I like the record. Be real. Mm. And... Uh, he didn't have it. So I said, you know what? Play any record you got from Game. And once he played the record, I addressed Game with the situation. Like, look, bro, you got a problem with me, crew. Let's handle it right now. If not, let's get to the money. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Homeboy started to make his way to the stage. But the club or the, the, the security of the club, they kind of got terrified and pushed him out the way. So mm. I ain't know at the time whether, you know, he was coming to get it on and get to the money. As I should say, but to the stage though, you took it to the yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. I, we take everything else when we put these raps. We take them and give them to the streets. Why not do the <laughs> I good guess. and the bad in front of the people? So, so what was, happened? So security came and what took him out of there or took yeah, both of you guys out? Well, no, nah, they pushed him outside of the club, and then pretty much we left. So at the time, I didn't know where where it was at, and probably do like you at a this week point? later. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, like a week later. 
a lot of people in, in the middle of the, the situation was like, yo, your man Gang want to speak with you on the phone. He want to talk, bro. He really want to holler. So, you know, honestly, I chose to have a conversation with him because I know he'll never be able to have a conversation with 50, honestly. Mm. See, 50, 50 feels he done did too much for the kid and, and, and pulled so many strings in helping Game's career that, you know, he feel like he'll never have that conversation. But he gave me permission to be able to speak to him. So you do, like, discuss these things with 50, like, you know, I'm thinking yeah, about this yeah, conversation. Yeah, I got to. Be, yeah, straight up and down. That's just being a loyal soldier to the situation. Mm. You know, I don't I don't believe in going head first and nothing and having my boss in the blind. So, you know, I, I, I yeah, I, like I say, I stepped to fifth like, look, man, your man want to conversate. So what's the, what's, the, what's the wave in making this crack? Because mm-hmm. I really ain't with nothing that ain't real. You know what I mean? Right. I'm, I'm real with it, really with it. So, you know, he's like, boy, go ahead, you know, and, and had a conversation with him. I just, you know, I just, I, I can't. I can't it, do it, Yeah, man. and I understood exactly why being, you know, the extent the game went to kind of stop what 50 provided for game is the reason why 50 had never had So how'd the conversation go? We just left a note on of you do you without involving us. But what's the, t- how does that conversation start on the phone? Like, who calls who? He calls you. Game calls you. Yeah, yeah, he called Nelson's phone. Honestly. He called Nelson's phone, and yeah. then Nelson says, I have game hey, on I the phone. I got game on the phone. I get on the phone. What up? Is it light, though? Is it like... Is I it- mean, it ain't... I don't come disrespectful for what? Why? Okay. I, I ain't raising my voice or nothing. For what? Right. What, what's up, man? I mean, right, but yeah, is it up. like, yo, what's up? Or is it like, yo, what's up? Nah, I it mean, ain't none I mean, of that. There's two different <laughs> kinds that's that of phone, approaches. Yeah, that's, okay. that phone, that's okay. that phone thugging when you do it like so that. So there was no phone thugging? Nah, ain't no phone thugging. It was just pretty much, look, man, what's up? You know? Mm. Me and, and, and he was like, look, man... At this point, bro, I was coming down there to really give love, and I was like, "Look, it kind of, I kind of felt it, but hey, who knows?" I said, "Bro, at this point, it's like, if it's on like that, we might as well figure out a way and go on and get it on for real, straight up. That's what G's do. If not, then what is it? Where your head at?" And, and Game was like, "Man, you know what, man? I'm, I'm just on him trying to get to the money, or whatever. You know what I'm saying, like that." And he even went to talk about, man, you know how much money we could make if we was on the tour together right now, what people would do to pay the see us together and stuff like that. Right. So, you know, I could see that Y'all he ready was for pretty that, much though? open. Nah, even, nah, this is ready. a real life situation. Right. I don't even think we ready to even be in a video popping bottles together at this point. Right. It's just that but it, it was, was a under, civil, it's but a it under was... civil understanding where, look, man, you do you without involving us and we do us without involving you. And, and that's where it was pretty much been left on you know what i'm saying that's where that's where it's at with me and that's where i guess it's been at with the with, with they side because as you notice it ain't been no in the last month or so you know we pretty that's gotta be it's gotta be so it's crazy i mean i mean just be real with you angie like even outside if we go outside of this game situation and we look at the locks and the whole g unit situation mm. like I, I i respect the styles and still do out of his conversation with 50 how great was that? I really respect Styles' conversation with yeah. 50 because at the sense, it's like that was a man, manly conversation with it. He like, regardless in the tension of the voice and all that good stuff, mm. when they conversating, you know, they both say what they got to say. He said what he said, 50-50 say what he had to say. Right. But they left the conversation on a note of it was pretty much open. It wasn't that. You know what I mean? So, right. yeah, I mean, men is men. Men ain't going ain't gonna, to... Uh, have the uh you know you're gonna always hear the forceful things in two competitive crews have ever conversating amongst each other over the phone i would imagine that's only you though who kind of have come to that semi kind of peace yeah, thing with yeah. game because obviously the situation of the day doesn't really yeah yeah let, i mean let, let anybody believe that it's that way across the board at the end of the day the situation is still just allegations so it's okay, like all right. you know what i'm saying it's like that's why I'm like, okay, it's like it is what it is, but I don't I don't I can't rock with nothing that that that's that's going against it. You know, anybody putting their hands on any child. Mm. So I voice mine from that end. But in Yale's situation, you know, it's just allegations at this point far as from what I'm knowing. So I leave it open enough to say, you know, if okay. it ain't then it's all you know what I mean, it's all if good. It, if it's not, then how does that affect the relationship with Yale? Well, if it, if it ain't, in, in a sense, it don't really, 
it don't affect my relationship because at the end of the day, I think individually, you know, I'm set up as my own man and it's understood, you know, throughout, period, throughout the streets first right. and everything. So I understand that I come amongst the crews, but his actions or anybody else's actions don't fall upon, uh, straight amongst me unless the person who the action was took against chooses to. <laughs> somewhere I just straight got, up, you somewhere feel I just got a little dizzy and confused. Just a little bit somewhere. I'll, but, I'll, but I'll, I'll put that back, now, I'll, I'll put that you. back in language I'll for you. you. I'll, yeah, follow me, I'll bring it back. It's like, if, if, if I do something to this dude, and, and, you know, my homeboy is right here, he, my homeboy, and it go down like that. Now, I don't have, you know, the the actions ain't looking forward to come back to my homeboy unless the person who I just did action to decides to include. Okay, everybody. I got it. So if the other side includes you, then you're involved. Hey, man. That's how it goes. At this point, man, honestly, we on this radio station and it's real <laughs> things out of this nah, thing. I know. Right. So I don't really want to just go jump. I'm going to be real. I don't really want to just go too far with it. All I'm going to just let the world know and let it be known for us throughout New York. You know, I ain't with putting my hands on no kids, period. And you shouldn't either as a grown man, any mm -hmm. grown man. So, right. you know, at this point, that's the way I feel. You know what I mean? And, okay. We, go, hey. we, go, we are going to talk about this album. And we are going to play some songs. I want to finish up. We get back to the album because it's, it's so interesting. Like, on this other stuff. We, yeah, no, we're gonna, you know, yeah, I'm going to sell more stuff. records to Jay-Z and 50. It's understood. <laughs> let's, let's just get right, back let me, to. Let me get the countdown started. All right, let's we'll start the countdown that. because we'll I want to speak on some more stuff. Okay. I had a chance to run into Jay the Kiss. You did? Okay, yeah. all right. We'll talk about that in a minute, too. Young Buck is here. The album's in stores tomorrow. You can text us, 75759. You got any questions or comments or anything like that? We're reading all the texts now. And Robin Thicke is number four Yo, today. buy my album, Buck the World. It's the truth. I brought the unit back. 797, official number one. Let's go.